Greetings, Spartan, and welcome back to the UNSC Infinity War Game Simulation Training Program. Today, we will be discussing the Forerunner Binary Rifle. Now, we don't know much about the Z750 Special Application Sniper Rifle, but what we do know is that it fires a devastating concentration of ionized particles by utilizing twin, core-mounted particle accelerators. Each of these cores can be compared in power to a Covenant Beam Rifle, and it in fact may be the reverse engineering of the binary rifle that led to the creation of such a weapon. But the Beam Rifle only uses one accelerator, whereas the binary rifle combines the power of two accelerators, resulting in a much higher damage output per shot. This precision weapon was used by the Forerunners to eliminate powerful flood forms from a safe distance. The immense stopping power of this weapon will disintegrate targets of considerable mass from almost any range. This made it ideal for systematically eliminating high-priority flood threats before they could cause any real damage. The binary rifle fires ionized particles at a rate of 60 rounds per minute. But due to the low magazine count of only two rounds and a long reload time of two and a half seconds, the overall rate of fire is reduced to about 26 rounds per minute. Either way, there is a one second delay between firing each round, so you have to make your shots count. But when your shots do connect, the damage is impressive to say the least. A single shot to any part of a Spartan's body will immediately neutralize them and cause their body to disintegrate. As long as you hit them, they will die. This makes it one of the most powerful anti-personnel weapons on the battlefield. The basics of using the binary rifle are the same as using every other sniper rifle. It is best employed from a secured position at a long range where your opponents will have a hard time countering your shots. You should try and cover choke points and high traffic areas where you are more likely to see an enemy presence. If you are forced to fight in tighter quarters on smaller maps, then you need to try and use long sightlines and corners to your advantage. If you use your motion sensor appropriately, then you should be able to eliminate threats before they realize you're even there. Now there is a wide variety of other tricks to using any sniper rifle that you will become accustomed to, and we don't have time to cover them here. Instead, we will focus on the more unique aspects of the binary rifle. First of all, while you are scoped in, the rifle will project three red beams for targeting assistance. These beams will serve as a warning to your opponents and they're a dead giveaway to your position. Try not to stay scoped in any longer than you have to. Anyone that sees these beams will be able to find where you are and possibly ambush you while you're focusing on another location. And while zoomed in, try to hide your lasers as best as possible by aiming at an obstruction near the point where you are watching rocks, pillars, anything you can find to make sure that your opponent doesn't see those lasers. The last thing that you want to do is warn your potential victims that you're watching a particular spot. Aiming is also more important with the binary rifle than with any other sniper rifle. It may be powerful, but it does have a very small magazine and an abysmal rate of fire, so you do need to make every shot count. Take your time and don't fire until you know you can land the shot. Otherwise, you may leave yourself very, very vulnerable. Every round in the binary rifle should be a guaranteed kill. If you find yourself trapped or surprised in close quarters, then you can always attempt to hip fire the weapon, but this should only be a last resort. The binary rifle is not accurate when fired from the hip, and the round can go in any variety of directions, and it's more about pure luck than accuracy if you hit your mark. You need to watch your motion sensor and be prepared to swap to another weapon if the need arises. Don't rely on hip fire. Overall, the binary rifle is one of the most intimidating presences on the battlefield. When you see the simulator drop it onto the map, your team needs to control it. In the hands of a competent sniper, it will yield at least 6 kills. But for all of its power, you should be well aware of its drawbacks. The long reload time and small magazine size is the bane of an overly aggressive Spartan. If you stay patient and keep aware of your surroundings, you'll be able to show the enemy exactly who's boss. Thank you for watching this episode of my Halo 4 Weapon Guides. If you enjoyed it, please have a look at my other videos and be sure to stay tuned for more to come. 
And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.